Hello everyone, welcome back to my NASAC YouTube channel. In this video, I'm going to show you a new way to create your own monitoring page, monitor your hosted servers and website. In my channel, I already have a couple of videos talk about using uptime robot or flash pin to create your own status page with your own domain. You can find those video links in this video's description below. But with the project I'm gonna show you in this video, you'll find this free and open source monitoring solution UPP Time will give you a little bit more flexibility comparing to those free commercial solutions. Here are some features. I summarized based on the description in this GitHub project. First, it is free and open source. You don't need to have your own server or any program experience. All you need is a GitHub account. And the whole solution is fully powered by GitHub actions, issues, and pages. And you can set up five minutes interval to monitoring your website or post. Every six hours, the response time recorded will be committed to the Git and saved for the page view. The GitHub pages will show the data using the API to fetch repository data. And they also support PWA. No matter which device you are using, you can browse it without problems. So now, let's start it. The deployment does take some steps based on the repository description. We can find out the Getting Started Guide from Documentation section. We can open Getting Started. So we're going to follow the steps. The step is very straightforward and clear, but it does take some time to read it. So I'm going to follow this guide and complete all steps one by one. So first step, let's create a repository from the template. You can right click, create a new repository. Um, I already logged into my GitHub 51 sec. So what I want to give it is using the app as a repository name, which is much easier for me to remember it. Don't forget select include all branches, else you would only get the master branches, but we need the uh, uh, pages. So create a repository, just wait a couple of few seconds. The whole repository from the original repository is going to be copied over to your repository. So. That's our first step. The second step is also very straightforward. Basically, you just need to enable publishing. So after you created your repository, go to the settings page. Go to pages. So by default, they already select your source and the root folder. But there is one thing I want to do is I want a custom domain. I want to use app.51sec.org, this domain. And I already created CNAME record. CNAME is app.51sec.github.io. Where did I get the list? So once I put the custom domain here, I click save. It's gonna verify this URL domain is pointing to the right direction. So it's a checking the app.fifransec.org and this is pointing to 51sec.github.io which I put in here. It may take a little bit of time for checking this, you will just need to click in checking again. 
since we are pretty sure we already did everything right here. So you can see the ends check successful now. Um, and then we finished our second step. Our third step is to add the repository secret. That's also very simple to do as well. Go back to our account settings. Scroll to the bottom, you will see developer settings on your left panel, and then you have your personal access token. Just generate a new token. Let's call it up token for your PP time project. We need to click repository and workflow. Generate token. So once you generate token, copy it. After this step, you need to go to your GitHub project. Up, go to settings, secret, actions, new repository secret, you need to put your secret name, it will be gh underscore pat, paste, generate token here. Add secret. So that's our third step. We have finished almost every configuration. The only thing we need to do is the last step is to update the configuration basically to configure the website to monitoring. So let's go back to your repository app. And you want to make some changes on this UPP timer C dot YML file. So there's something you need to change. First thing, the owner, the repository owner. So this is 51 sec, as you can see here. And the name, repository name is up. After that step is done, you can configure your size here, I'm going to configure 51 sec to, in, to monitor it. So basically I added two more sites here to monitor and I'm going to remove some other sites as well. Um, one thing you may want to change is C name. We changed the domain name to app.51sec.org this is our custom domain name. So if, if you are not using your custom domain name, then you need to enable base URL and comment this line. But since we are using CNAME name, then this configuration is good for us. Once this step done, commit change. That's all step you need to do. The last step, we're gonna do some verification. So we finished our configurations all done and um, now we are going to view the GitHub action after we submit our configuration changes and also we can verify the website. So we made some changes based on your repository, user's name and the repository the site you want monitoring and then say name those changes then we submitted the changes. So as you submit changes, you will see they're gonna set up and commit those changes to your repository and then the graphics CI is gonna run. After those steps, you also will see 
the pages build and deployment. So we are waiting all those steps down and then we're gonna refresh our web page using our custom domain to access to it. Let's give the workflow run a little bit time. So now we can see page is building and it's deploying. Then we have to wait the least step to be done and then we can open a page to see our monitoring result. The monitoring result gonna show in, in the history here. As you can see that fifty one sec the YAML file and ID ProSec the YAML file has been generated at dot fifty one sec to org this page. So now you can see this page is still using default settings. Then you will see those uptime is open source, uptime monitor and the status page. This is sample state page as well, but you will see live status, different sec and ID pro sec is showing correctly here. From the actions page, you can see all workflows has been completed successfully. There's no error message here. That means all configuration has been submitted successfully and all the deployment has been completed successfully. That's why we can see this page here. So that's all I want to show you. Again, this is your control website to monitoring the website you want monitoring. You can change all configurations, the web page and content based on your customized information. So that's all for me to show you today. Hope you enjoyed it. If you like my list video, please give me a thumb up and subscribe it. Thank you for watching and see you in my next episode.